I'm on a journey to get the platinum trophy for every single Lego game. So far, I've done Marvel Super Heroes 2 and Lego 2K Drive, but today we're hopping into the super underrated Lego Jurassic World. There are 50 trophies in this game, and the platinum takes anywhere between 20 and 25 hours to complete. Just like most Lego games, there are two steps to achieving the platinum. Step one is to play through the story for the first time, where you'll unlock a trophy for each level you finish, and step two is to do the open world and free play cleanup. The story for this game was super fun as a fan of the Jurassic movies. It follows through the story of the original Jurassic Park trilogy and the first Jurassic Jurassic World movie, making sure to include all of the best moments of the franchise, including my all-time favorite. Oh, it's this scene. This has to go down is just like the most aggressive side character death of all time. Like they just did Zara so dirty in the movie. Here comes the Mosasaurus. Ooh, I can't believe they put this in. Anyway, we have the classic dinosaur big, dinosaur scary, dinosaur hungry moments, which actually led to a very unique LEGO game experience for me so far. It was a nice change of pace going through the missions, sneaking around and avoiding danger compared to my past playthroughs being combat heavy. All in all, it was a really fun time and completing the story unlocks your first 21 trophies. Again, one for each individual level and another for finishing the entire game. Throughout my time with the story, I picked up eight other trophies, the first four all coming from the real first mission of the game, one for willingly diving headfirst into a steaming hot pile of shit, another for healing our first dinosaur, one for collecting an amber break, and finally one for obtaining the true survivor status on any level. Later, while exploring the open world in between story missions, I accidentally spawned in a custom dinosaur on a paddock, which unlocks a trophy. I tried to use a computer as Alan Grant, but since dude is a dinosaur himself, we get the not machine compatible trophy. Sneaking past a dino while camouflaged unlocks us this trophy do you think he saw us get it because dinosaur sore saws sorry lastly after fighting off a horde of chompies we popped the reason to fear man trophy for defeating 50 chompy goons and with the story finished it was time for us to boot up the stream and get ready for the grindy collectible cleanup that we all know and love lego games are my first couple of hours were spent getting a feel for the open world my main focus was to grab as many red bricks as i could since i knew that they would make the free play process much easier i quickly learned that in order to get a lot of the open world challenges done i needed to have dinosaurs i haven't unlocked yet and to unlock dinosaurs for the open world you need to find their amber break inside of each level I was able to snag a couple of them in my first playthrough, but most of them require you go back and free play. Luckily, I was able to find the red brick that unlocks the amber brick detector, so this was the perfect time to go back and get what we need. Before we could do that, though, I needed to buy the extras, which require you to go to an HQ in the open world. It was there I not only bought the amber brick detector, but the 2x stud multiplier as well, which will help us earn the rest of the red bricks a lot quicker. While I was at the HQ, I had a chance to pop our next two trophies, one for creating a custom dinosaur in the genetics lab, and another for creating a custom character. This felt like a good time to jump into a few missions of the free play, and it's not long until we unlock this trophy for collecting all of the mini kits in a single level. Later, while trying to solve a puzzle, I unexpectedly unlocked this trophy. Pack Hunter? Oh my god. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a pack of dinosaurs right now. So that's for setting both free play characters as raptors. So my, my side character is a raptor, and I spawn in another raptor. And after a bit of grinding and farming studs, I finally had enough to buy the best character in the game, Mr. DNA, which gives us our next trophy opportunity. Okay, so we can buy Mr. DNA now. After doing that farm multiple times in a row, we've got plenty of studs. He's only 500,000, so we'll go ahead and purchase him real quick. And I believe if we do something as Mr. DNA, we get a trophy. Build a Lego object using using Mr. DNA. Okay, we could do that. After finishing the level, I spawned back near the soccer field in the open world, and I decided to head over there since there's a trophy for scoring a goal while playing as a Raptor. Not to brag, but I'm bronze rank in Rocket League, so this should be GG's easy. They call me messy. I stopped back by the HQ to buy the other red bricks I've unlocked at this point, including the stud attractor, which pops a trophy before I call it a night. Okay, let's activate attract studs. The concept of attraction. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a trophy. All right, well, there we go. Trophy number 35. I wake up fresh the next day and lock it in on the collectibles. And after a lot of good overall progress, the first to be finished is the photo shoot locations. Oh, is this literally just a build it situation? What is this camera angle? All right, this one was nice and easy for our final. Boom. And observe and document. I collect all of the stud multiplier red bricks, and shortly after activating them, we rack up over 65 million studs. Ah, there it is. Spared no expense. And it shouldn't be a surprise that the next trophy was for getting the true survivor status on every single story and bonus level. And I have to say, doing the bonus missions in this game was actually a lot of fun because they weren't tedious levels that you had to go through, but instead there were many chase sequences that took like a minute to complete, and you farmed a whole bunch of studs for playing them. 
I like that they have us play as a baby Rex. That's so random. All right, there it is. Survival expert for, of course, collecting the true survivor on all levels. Stacking up those studs, man. 278 million. After a long grind, we're finally getting to the end of our free play collection. And our next trophy is for collecting every single amber brick on each main level. Oh, this is our last amber right here. So once we unlock this at the end of the mission, we should be getting a trophy for collecting all of the ambers. We just got to take our Velociraptor build <laughs> whatever that statue is and then climb up there we got our final amber back in the open world we finish healing every single dinosaur oh this is our last dinosaur that we need so once we uh give the banana here i'll get us this trophy and rescuing all of the workers in peril wait is this our last worker in peril there's no way i know it's a gold brick for sure oh i think we just did two birds one stone there we go send the helicopters that's for rescuing all the workers in peril and then we have our last red brick over here as well. But before I could grab that last brick, my power went out for 14 hours straight. I wake up the next day determined to finish the game in this last session. We start off the day grabbing that final red brick. All right, there we go, boys. The red brick is invisible, but I think we should be able to pick it up and that will pop our next trophy. Or maybe it won't. I don't know. That, that's definitely our final brick unlocked. Okay, so it does pop a trophy. One big pile of bricks for collecting all of the red bricks. Then I move on to the last race. Let's go ahead and spawn in a gyrosphere here for our final race, which I believe should pop another trophy. Yeah, I did my first race with it. It's only right that we do our final race of the game with the gyrosphere as well. Times have changed since our first race, boys. I'm now officially a billionaire. We got a gold brick and a silver trophy waiting for us at home, boys. And there it is. Must go faster. Of course, for completing all the races within the game. And now it's time to speed run the miscellaneous trophies. Now that I'm a billionaire, I think it's the right time for us to go ahead and spend a little bit of that hard earned cash and purchase every single character in the game. All right, so we have every character unlocked, which I think is the perfect opportunity for us to go ahead and pop some of the character related trophies. There's not many, but I know one that we haven't done yet is to have two variants of John Hammond in the party in free play. So we'll go ahead and do the Lost World John Hammond, the Jurassic Park John Hammond, and that will pop the Hello John trophy. So we have another trophy for characters for giving Timmy a shock. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and grab Dino Handler Vic and just, just shock, shock Timmy or beat the crap out of him. There we go. All right. The humid piece of toast. Can we get some RIP Timmy's in the chat. We're going to abuse Timmy a little bit more here because as Dennis Nedry, we need to throw a soda can at another player. Okay, yeah, this one's actually going to be challenging because we need to be at somewhat of a distance. You know what? That might be something that we can do to like a hostile character. All right, tell you what, we're going to go into this mission. I'm going to just try to chuck a soda can at the first person I see. Wait, 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 hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out, boys. Oh, I have invincibility. What am I stressing about? Yeah, we can lock on. There it is. Anybody want a soda? Nice. With all those out the way, we hop into our last free play mission to grab the final mini kit. Okay, so this is our final mini kit before we completed all of them for the game and of course pop the trophy for it. And fingers crossed we get it right away. These have been like the most challenging mini kits to get in levels. Just because if you miss it, you have to replay it again. It's the ones where you have to like get it while running. Luckily, this one's at like the very beginning of the level and I know it's to the right side of the screen, so it shouldn't be a challenge to get. As I say that, I think it might be the left side. Oh yeah, okay, it was far left. That's our final mini kit. And once we exit, we should pop the trophy. Don't you mean extinct? 91% done with the trophies. And that puts us at probably 97% done with the game. And our final trophy is to 100% the game by collecting the last couple of gold bricks in the open world. There it is, boys. There it is. Three stomps and one gold brick is standing between us and the platinum trophy. Dude, I have 5 billion studs. All right, if everything went according to plan, then the second we stomp here, we should get the platinum trophy. Next time, it'll be flawless for getting the 100% completion on the game. And life finds a way. The Platinum Trophy for LEGO Jurassic World. Thank you all so much for watching the live stream here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Appreciate all of you guys.